how to create a WordPress real estate website with Organic IDX with Elementor and Realtina WPL. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how we can build our own WordPress website for our real estate business. And this will also include indexable organic research listings where you can use it and combine this software with multiple different MLSs across the web. So let's get into it. Now, before we get started, we are going to have to purchase a domain name and you're going to choose your hosting on your WordPress website. All of us know how to do that by now. It's pretty simple. You just choose the domain name that you want for your website and then choose the hosting server provider that you want. Uh, you can go with GoDaddy to find your domain name and you can go on ahead and use Hostinger to provide hosting. Realtina also provides hosting plans that are optimized for IDXs. Once you have done that, you're actually going to go onto your WordPress site, so uh, onto your WordPress dashboard, and this is our WordPress dashboard over here, and all you're going to do is you're going to just click on plugins over here, and then you're just going to click on add new. And then you're just going to add the Realtina plugin. Now, why is the Realtina plugin so helpful? Well, the Realtina plugin will basically simplify the entire listing process, the entire process of setting up your real estate business on a website will be managed on the back end from the Realtina plugin. So you're just going to click on search plugin. So we're just going to search for this over here. And then what you're going to do is you have the Realtina Organic IDX plugin plus WPL Real Estate. So you're just going to click on install now and this will be installed. And then you can get started with building your WordPress website. So once this has been installed, you're going to click on activate over here. And now you can just use this plugin to simplify the process. So over here, what we're going to do is this is going to be our installed plugins and you can take a look at the plugins that you have and you can just go on ahead. You only need two basic plugins, which is Elementor. So over here, I already have Elementor installed and then you can go on ahead and install Realtina as well. So now you can see we have the Realtina core version enabled. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go on ahead onto wordpress.org and you're going to download the Sesame theme that you can find that is provided by Realtina. So they have created this theme. It's a very simple and easy to use theme that enables you to create a perfect little website. So we're just going to click on download over here. This is for free on wordpress.org and this is provided by Realtina. So we're just going to download this file over here. Then you're going to go back onto your WordPress builder and then you're just going to click on themes on the top left over here. You're going to click on add new over here and then you're just going to upload the theme. So you're going to click on upload theme on the top over here. Click on choose file and we're just going to open this up over here. Click on install now and now this theme will be uploaded onto your WordPress website builder. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be uploaded. And once you do that, you're going to click on replace active with uploaded. And uh, this is because I previously have a basic kind of theme, but we're just going to click on replace active with uploaded. And now after that, you're just going to click on go to themes page and you can see that the theme will now be applied. Now, once you do that, you can go on ahead and go to your website to begin customizing it with Elementor. So if we go on to our sites, we're just going to go on ahead. So you can see over here, this is our site and we can just click on the site over here. You can click on the theme section over here to see the theme that you have. And what we're just going to do is we're going to begin by customizing this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the dashboard of this site. And for you, it's just going to be one website, but because we are working with multiple pages, we have multiple uh, pages over here. So once you open up your dashboard, you're going to see all of your different uh, posts over here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to begin customizing by adding our listings. So first off, uh, you are just going to click on your WPL over here. You're going to find this on the left side of your screen. You have your WPL. And once you click on your WPL, you're going to click on your listings manager. And you can begin uh, setting up listings. So what you can do is you have your ad listing and then you can begin adding listings. So we're just going to click on add listing. You can add different kinds of um, listings depending on whether it is a uh, real estate, like whether it is a apartment, whether it is a neighborhood for a living, you know, a housing property, whatever you want. So let's say this is just a apartment and we're going to add the title. 
Then you're going to click on add media to add images of your listing that you have. So whatever apartment that it is, obviously you're going to add the specifics of the apartment, like the street, the apartment number, the block number, all of those details you're going to add in into your actual description over here, which I am just going to leave because this is just a sample listing. Now, once you have done that, you're just going to scroll down and then you can add the specific kind of category this is. So uh, I'm just going to add this in the test category. And then you have your different things such as listing type. So if, whether it is for sale or for rent. So let's say this is for sale. And then you have your listing IDs. These are numbers that are going to help you manage the overall listings that you have. Because if you're using MLSs, which are the you know, multiple listing servers, you have thousands and thousands upon listings, then you might not be able to uh, easily manage all of your listings together. So for that, it is essential that you have listing IDs. Then you have the price, so you can just enter any price of your choice. And then you're going to add the view. So let's say the view is going to be a street view. Then you can add when the building was built, although these are optional fields if you are not sure you can leave them empty for now and later on update them then you're just going to click on the lot area if you know the area in square feet or acres you can enter that as well and then once you have done that you're just going to click on save and now once we have saved our listing what we can do is go on ahead and once we have our basic features you can click on features over here and then begin adding the room so if it has a one bedroom two bedroom if it has a walk-in closet any of the highlighted features you're going to add let's say that this also has a patio we're going to add that over here and then you can go on ahead into your appliances if there is any appliance that is provided within the infrastructure you can add those and then you have your address map over here you're going to select where this is located so the country which is going to be the united states and the state that it is present in Users can also add Google Maps keys to their website and Realtina also provides a guide on their website realtina.com to do this so check that guide out for you to be able to add the Google Map key to your website. And then you can go on ahead and put a Google Maps pin for your customers or clients to be able to view this. So they are going to be able to view this in a simple fashion and this is going to help your clients feel more comfortable in viewing the real estate with you. Then you have your neighborhood. So you're just going to add what are the specific features of the neighborhood. So let's say it has a shopping center nearby and it is a 10 minute walk. And let's say they also have a park which is a 15 minute walk. So make sure you're adding all of these key essential features of a property. Then you have image gallery. So you're going to upload the files and then you have some videos you can add. You can add any documentation you want to add with this specific listing. And then you have specialities that you can add. So if this is a hot offer in this house or listing is provided at a discount, if it is featured, if it is open house, so anyone can go ahead and visit anytime they want or if this is for closure. So you can add any of those fields as well. And then you have your MLS add-on. So you can add the office name and the agent name as well for the MLS. And then you also have your importer add-on as well. But once you have all of that ready, then you can just go on ahead and continue and add more properties. So that is how simple and easy it is to add a listing. Now, with Realtina, you can use your organic MLS integration from the left side of your screen. You can click on your WPL, and if you scroll down on your WPL, you have your MLS add-on. So, from here, you can add your credentials to your IDX and connect to the IDX. Now, you can see over here, using Realtina, you can easily build a website like this by purchasing their organic MLS integration, and you can can easily make any kind of design changes you want from this basic template and you can use Google APIs like this and do more customization according to your personal design preference. And then what you can just simply do is you can click on plugins, you can click on add new, and then you can just go on ahead and go to your Elementor plugin, which is a front end editor. So they are actually a front end editor and they are going to allow you to create your website without having to, uh, you know, do a lot of coding or any complex thing like that. You're going to be able to easily uh, customize your website in a simple action. Now, moving on ahead, what you're just going to do is you're going to go 
go on ahead on the left side of your screen you're gonna go scroll down and uh, you're gonna go into your plugins you can find elementor somewhere around here so you can see i found elementor over here and now we're going to deploy elementor to go on ahead and customize the front of our page so uh, what we're going to do is you can see over here we have our basic uh, Elementor editor and you can click on Elementor and you can click on the tools for Elementor and we're going to fine line our website with Elementor so we're going to just click on connect account and then you can connect your site here and now this will be switched on to the Elementor platform where we can begin adding uh, or customizing our website with Elementor. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on my Elementor over here and this will open up the Elementor platform and you can use all of these strong integrations like the WPL. So we're going to open up this dashboard and we can click on these three dots over here and we can go on ahead and customize this. So now you can see we have our website added to our Elementor platform form now with elementor what you're just going to do in this section over here you can click on the custom fonts custom icons or custom code or if you just want to simplify this just click on get started over here and click on create your first page so you can begin editing the front end of your website with elementor so we're just going to open up elementor over here and wait for this to load up now you can see over here that our website has been loaded so this is just loading up our website that we have just created and it is just loading the basic elementor tools these are tools that will help you create your website in a visual manner instead of having to write code or write you know lines of text that you don't really know how they will end up looking on your website and this is going to be especially helpful with the integrations that you're using with realtina because you're going to be using uh very high level WPLs and IDXs. This will enable you to share all of that concise and helpful information for your clients onto their platform. And not only that, but you can also get a discount with our code. So you can use our code social150 for a $150 discount on any of the bundles of Realtina. So you can use their amazing and super helpful organic IDX builders and this will boom your real estate business. So we're just waiting for the alarm mentor uh, wordpress plugin to begin loading so you can drag any of the widgets into any places you can go on ahead and customize your website accordingly and we're just going to wait for the tools to be loaded up on our website now to customize your website with the elementor integration you can just click on over here you can click on the pages if you want to add a specific kind of page you can upload your own templates and blocks as well so let's say that we want to add a simple block about the company we can just click on insert over select the block and click on insert over here to add that kind of block to our website and this will just create the front of our website so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to build your own real estate website using the realtina wpl plugin it is super helpful it is going to provide you with a simple add-on feature that is going to simplify the entire listing process you can can add realtors listings um, sales managers all of that good stuff simply with the realtina plugin and you can get a 150 dollars discount on any of their bundles with our code social 150 and this will get you listings that are organic and that means they are indexable for search engines as well as configuration and setup to your idx from your mls and your software can be used with hundreds of different mls's so whatever mls that you are using whatever multiple listing server you are presently on you can easily integrate it with the realtina plugin so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next next video.